I spent a whole week trying to find rats in Singapore. But are the rats I found even really rats? Well, let's find out more about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. So, last week, I don't know if I was lucky or not, but first I found this fella. And then I walk and walk, and then under some HDB block that very same night, I found this fella. Ah, perfect video idea, right? Huh? Because I tell you right now, one of that is a rat, and the other one is not a rat. Huh? And we know that rats are disease transmitting pests, but the other animal, it's actually helpful to humans. Huh? So, which is which? Well, I spent the whole week trying to find these fellas, and so here is how you tell them apart. Jang, jang, jang. So, this here is actually a shrew, and more specifically, it's the Asian house shrew. And they're not even rodents. So shrews, they are more closely related to your hedgehogs and your moles, and they are nowhere near related to your mice and your rats. As a matter of fact, our Asian house shrews are actually very helpful for us because they are mostly insectivores, and they help us to eat cockroaches. So unlike rats, rats are scavengers, right? So they'll eat anything and everything and they like to dig into our human food waste, which is why they appear near our trash. But the Asian house shrew actually goes out to hunt for cockroaches and other insects. And they have big appetites, so they eat a lot of these cockroaches. So they are basically nature's natural pest control, right? And now that you know they're actually friends to us, how do we actually tell the shrew and the rat apart? Okay, so the most distinct one is their face, right? The shrew actually has a very cone-like snout, right? It's very long and pointy, whereas the rat, it is very uh, blunt and short. And next, you look at their eyes, right? So shrews actually have very, very, very small eyes. It's really just a dot and they actually have very poor vision. But for the rat, you see, big eyes. Bing, bing, bing. And so, fun fact, if shrews can't really see, then how do they hunt for cockroaches? Well, they use their sense of hearing, and they have long and sensitive whiskers that can actually detect motion through the air. <laughs> cool stuff! And so, another big difference between the rat and the shrew is their tails. So, as you can see, our rat's tail is very long and thin, right? But our shrew's tail, so cute, so short and stumpy. And last but not least, our rats, they can grow to a pretty big size, but our common house shrew is actually much smaller, right? Even though our common house shrew is already the largest shrew species in the world. But it is still much smaller than our rats, and I know it's a bit hard to judge its size through a video, but think of them as like a, a slightly longer hamster. Ah, like you see this one? This one like, can even almost fall into a drain, yeah? Okay, but quite cute, huh? So both rats and shrews, they are mostly nocturnal. But as you can see in my footage, they can start to get active from like the early evening all the way to early morning when there is still light. And they are both pretty timid and skittish and would run away and hide from humans. But uh, maybe because the shrews have such poor vision, right? If you stand still enough, uh, they might not notice that you are there, which was how I captured this footage of the shrews in the daytime. And so if you really want to observe shrews, they are often near the grass, right? So you can find them in our neighbourhood parks, and I've seen them at, like, at the bus stops, you know, when there's grass around, right? But for the rats, you know, you can find them near our human trash, right? And we also have roof rats. But I still need to say this, uh, even if a shrew comes near you and now we know they are not harmful to us, they are still wild animals, so please do not handle them. But at least now you know the difference between the two. So please look closely before you start to complain to your MP about rats huh? or you start to call NEA or HDB huh? to remove the rats. Because remember, if you have shoes, you have less cockroaches and I think that's a plus for all of us. But that is all we have for today's episode. But before we leave, we'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. 
Mr. Chu, Juno, no, 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 Ingler, HR Queen, Muffin, Jets, Pingu, Master Gel, Block, Tango, Neko, Sama, Amelia, Fauzi, Villanelle, Pixel, Feng Shuan Fan, Esperant Artist, The Carbon Guy, Cooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Lul, Quack Quack, Mama and Momo, Ama, Popo Pepper, Mongat, and Kanji Hanja. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep your eyes peeled because you want to know whether there is a shrew or a rat because one will help you take co uh, help you take one will help you eat cockroaches and the other one will eat your trash. So look closely, okay? Look closely before you complain. Okay. Bye-bye.